Our ground offensive is continuing its fast-paced push into Yuktabanian soil. A POW internment camp was discovered during the offensive, and a team of Marines has attacked and captured the camp. The Marines have secured the camp's radio room, and a flight of helicopters is en route to retrieve the prisoners. Your mission is to provide close air support for this rescue and retrieval operation. The radio room could be retaken by the enemy at any moment. If it is, the enemy will report the attack and the rescue will end in failure. Find and shoot down all enemy aircraft in the local airspace and secure air superiority across the entire area. Which plane am I going? Captain, which plane? So, we're going up in the War Dog launch. This is Archer. Captain, can you see the POW camp? Well, we should be able to see it soon. You think the captain? Uh, I mean... Captain Bartlett, you think he's in there? I bet he is. He's probably busy cussing out all the other POWs and taking charge right now. Right, Nagasay? <sighs> You're not still blaming yourself, are you? No. Fighters, I can hear the roar of your engines approaching. Uh, this is Sea Goblin. Man. I thought if I joined the Marines, I'd get to work on tropical beaches all the time. We've safely recovered the POWs. Guess our copter's not here yet. You're gonna have to babysit them a little bit longer. I'm picking up enemy planes on my radar. Roger. You're that squadron from Sand Island, right? I've heard of you guys. Can't wait to see you do your stuff. Check your equipment again while you can.
We're coming to pick you up, so be ready. We'll be landing at the designated site. Hurry up and get over here. <laughs> Nagaso's actually going down to look. All right, everyone's in the helicopter. Checking to make sure we got all of them. Sea Goblin, is Captain Bartlett there? Check for a Captain Bartlett. Hmm, no. Nobody named Bartlett here. Hey, what about you? Nope, not here. None of the other POWs ever heard of him either. But that can't... Look, just check for me one more time. Ship. We're taking our guests home now. Can you guys rescue her? Roger. Weather conditions are getting worse. We'd better step on it. Landing point confirmed. Roger. Heading in to pick her up. strong. We can't just leave her behind. Look, I hate it too, but we have to wait for conditions to get better before we can do anything. Damn it, is there nothing we can do? Please, be patient. All we can do now is wait. Damn it! You said it. The POW rescue operation was a success, and both the Marines and our friends held in the camp were safely recovered. As for Captain K. Nagase, who was attacked and bailed out during the operation, Colonel Perot will issue orders on her behalf. Central Command will be replacing Captain Nagase's plane that was lost in the crash. None of the rescued POWs saw Bartlett in the internment camp. Now where could he be, I wonder? Upon more favorable weather conditions, we will carry out a rescue operation for Captain Nagase. That's right. We've all been promoted yet again. You guys are burning through the ranks, you know that? You can thank High Command for it. She'd left her book in the crew room. A Blue Dove for the Princess. That was the title of the book she left behind. A favorite book from her childhood. The pages have torn off over the years, and she had been writing down the words that were on those pages, trying to remember every sentence and every verse. 
I love this book so much, but I only have faint memories of what was inside. I feel like I've grown so far away from everything since then. I remember how she looked when she told me that. I couldn't help wondering, did she choose to crash on purpose, rather than having to take part in the invasion of another country? <laughs>